What's going on, fans and Joe Colts and Micah Dash, and welcome back to Whoa! What was that? Um, welcome back Whoa, okay, I need to get my mouse under control here. Um, welcome back to a nice little public. And we Sith War began two and a half years ago and here's the Mandalorian fleet. War sees the Republic fleet. Okay. And it's time to go get a permanent crate detonator. Um, to help that dude fake his death. So yeah. I have confirmed that I am currently sick, so, um, yeah, but I'm behind schedule, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Okay, and, oh, what would you look at that? Permanent Crate Detonator, only 50 credits. This powerful detonator is extremely complicated, only someone trained in this use could set and activate it. Okay. Whoa, do we have exactly 150 credits now? Oh no, the thing, the thing that was next on the list cost 150 credits. Actually, I wonder if instead of walking all the way back to the lower city, I could potentially do, the, do kind of the same thing I did with the mirrors in those Survivor. Go back to my apartment and see if I can transit back. See, as Jedi, Revan, and Malak did something, they led Republic forces to victory in the Mandalorian War. Alright, time to transit back. Revan and Malak return from the Mandalorian War with Sith using their fleet to conquer. Alright, that worked surprisingly well. Uh, no one knows Revan and Malak is some fleet large enough to challenge the Republic. It's starting to repeat a lot. I haven't really been paying attention, but... Hey, Matrix! I was afraid you wouldn't come back. Did you manage to find a permanent Creed detonator? I have a permanent Creed detonator right here. Go on, take it. I got burned green down there on me, but it'll cost you. Alright. Go on, take it. Let me see, yeah, let's just do the trick. There won't be anything left in this apartment, but some scorching on the walls after I set this bad boy off. God, I need to sneeze really bad. I'll cut it out if I, if I do, though. So, God, that walking animation's all screwed up. Okay, the timer's set. Now let's get out of here before it blows. And wow, we're we're totally at a safe distance. That completely destroyed the apartment. Oh, they just didn't want to animate it destroying the apartment. That was quite the blast. Don't go back in there. The whole roof might cave in on your head. Look, I'm not a man for for long goodbyes. But I want to say thanks. If it wasn't for you, I'd be a dead man. But now I won't have to worry about any more bounty hunters coming after me. So good luck and goodbye. Now that I'm dead, I can't be seen wandering the streets. I got some, I lost some items, got some light side points, some XP, 480, and internal entry added. And now I can level up. But I'm gonna see how many levels can I wait before um, before needing like so that I can um, so that I can use more levels as a Jedi. Um, let's see. Am I even going the right direction? Oh, no I am not. I went I went past where I need to go. Oh, it's right there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. To the lower city! When two years in the Sith War, the Jedi set a trap for Revan and Malak, only Malak escaped. Yeah, I can level up. I don't care. Um... Uh, I'll do it to be ice, I guess, but I don't really need to be ice right now, so... Well, hey, it's Jack Norris Cantina. Okay. To my Darth Revan, the Jedi used Bastos Battle Meditation to... to board the Sith, flag, the Sith flagship. Okay, here's Gelrude and Ura. Hi there, not too many people coming in here to speak to me anymore. Most prefer the fantasy surroundings of the Upper City Cantina. Nobody up there carries the kind of Pasek cards I sell. I'm interested in purchasing some individual cards from most of your Pasek deck. Uh, God, my stiff one's really getting really back. Uh, who are you? My name is Araya. I'm the man to see if you want if you want to get an edge over your competitors in the Grand Old Game. You follow me? I'm talking about Pazak. You know, high stakes gambling. Each player brings their own deck to a Pazak match, and the better your cards are, the better your chances of winning. So, what do you say? Are you interested in buying some of my Pazak cards to augment your own deck? Ugh. God, the sniffling's really bad. I'm sorry for doing this while I'm sick, but. Okay, I'm gonna ask some questions. 
If you want information, you should speak to Zax in the mounting office. He's Davik's unofficial earpiece. But I'll try and answer your questions as best I can. Tell him about Davik. I'm not stupid enough to start badmouthing Davik Kang in this place. Not with Zax so nearby. Go to the mounting office and talk to him if you want the scoop on Davik. Uh, what about some general info on the lower sea? I don't know what I can really tell you. There's a gang war between the hidden backs and the black Fekers, Velkers, but Volkers, but everybody knows about that. Uh, what about the hidden backs? The backs are run by a man named Gavin Feck. They used to run things here in the lower city, and life wasn't too bad. But now the Vol Volkers are trying to move in. I thought I was saying the Vultures. Oh my god. I need people who aren't speaking aliens so I can, like, sniffle while they're talking. Um. Uh, Tell me about the Black Volkers. The Volkers are led by Bredgic. He's tough and, and ruthless and maybe even a little insane. He's also determined to take control of the entire Lower City away from the Hidden Backs. When the Hidden Backs were in things, the people could walk the Lower City streets in safety. But now the Black Volkers attack people on sight. Watch out for them. Well, do you know anything about those public escape pods? The Undersea? You don't want me going down there. The place is crawling with rackles. Do yourself a favor and forget about those escape pods. Besides, there's probably nothing left of those pods anyway. The hidden backs of the Black Volkers would have stripped any anything valuable from them within hours of the crash. Okay. Uh, tell me. Let's see. I guess just show me what you have for sale. I haven't been able to restock my inventory since it's just quarantine started, but I still got a pretty good selection. Okay. I don't really care about the plus ones. I want the... Okay, they're all kind of expensive, though. Um... Let's see. Plus and minus one is super expensive. Plus and minus three, I can't afford. Plus and minus six? I will want that. Gosh, they're cheap. Let's see. Minus six is only five? Minus four is twenty-five. See, I guess I will take a plus or minus six, and that'll be all for now, I suppose. I'd rather save up for the plus or minus ones than buy just the minus ones, and I think you find some too later. All right. Let's see, what about Gelrud? Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrud. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. Uh, why are you banned? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. That's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the Upper Cantina. Since then I've been desperate to find a match. Well, uh, let me ask them some questions and then I'll go save and um uh, and play him if you want to ask questions go talk to zax in the bounty office he knows everything that's happening on taurus i'm just here to play for zack so do you want to play or not uh i'll be going now if you're ever looking for a match and you get tired of posturing in the upper cantina just come down here and find me i'll play you anytime right let's save the game and play him um I don't think he ever, um, see, I don't think he ever, like, accuses you of cheating and stops like Nicholas does up in the upper city. Whoa. Same throws are Kirk's ability to avoid some attacks because of base attributes. Okay. Um, but, uh, I'll still play him just until I lose, kind of, while I'm in the area. Yeah, 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 I'll play. Excellent. My funds were getting somewhat low. Okay. See, I can only go up to 40. Okay. See, let's take out... Huh. Which one do we want to take out? Let's take out a plus 5 and put in a plus or minus 6. Yeah, so I'm going to use the side deck. Okay, and it ended up in there. Um, alright, let's end the turn. 2 is good. So... Alright, and we're still under him. We're just getting twos for days. Oh, no! Ugh. I could waste this early on. I guess I will. Why not? Damn it. Okay. I shouldn't have wasted it. Really? Oh, that. okay. I'm fine with that.
And wow, really I gotta get a nine, he gets a one. We're gonna end up like every ma every set being tied. That's how Pazic always ends, is we all tie at twenty. Oh yeah, I won that one. Yeah, you're not really coming back from a twenty seven. See, come on. Give him some super high cards. Uh, uh He can beat me. But I'm worried I'll go bust. I think I'll just end it and hope for the best. Yeah, I'm screwed. Wow, really? He gets all the low ones and I get all the high ones. He's still getting low stuff. Oh! Yay, he went bust. Okay. Now I've just got a freaking plus one. Really? Okay. It's all or nothing. Or, that doesn't make sense. Uh huh. Okay, so I just need to break 18 because he's standing. That shouldn't be too hard. Oh crap, I'm gonna go bust. Damn it! You played well I was defeated. Match, but luck just wasn't with you. you wanna play again? I'm sure you'll do better this time. Uh I think you're cheating, Galru. No, I'll, I'll just go. If you're ever looking for a match and you get tired of posturing in the upper cantina, just come down here and Okay. I lost 40 credits, but oh ho ho, it doesn't really matter because I can win my game. See you in the Jedi Ambush River, Malk Tech Mastership, and Usurp the Mantle of Dark Lord. Oh, I can level up now. Oh, what have we here? Go away. Hey, you not talk like that. We just want to say hi to Big Bad Bounty Hunter Kalo Nord. Nah, this can't be Kalo Nord. He's supposed to be tough. This guy is nothing but a runt. One? What'd that mean? You be funny, tough guy? You know who we are, Kalo. We're members of the Black Wolf Brigade. You don't want to be getting playing with us, tough guy. We need to understand. One, two. Might he count? He trying to count how many of us is against him? Three against one, Kalo. What do you think about those odds? Well, you have something more to say? Oh, that frame rate. Oh, snap. So much for that. Sorry about the pass. Go oh, hey. Go away, what? Uh, I saw I saw how you mopped those black folkers. Nice One. work. One. Oh, snap. Uh, I'm not looking for a fight. I just want to talk. Two. See, okay, I uh, see your point. I'll be off now. Smart. Okay. I don't want to get in a fight with him. I am nowhere near high enough level to take him out, so. Uh, oh, we got bounty hunters in there. See, what about this guy? He is a lower terrorist citizen. He's getting out of hand. Falkers aren't just attacking the hidden Becks anymore, they go after everyone. Okay. Oh. Hello there. Got some Rodians. Leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. Little girl should not be in bar. This is no place for a little girl. If a little girl smart, she run she run away home now. Little girl needs less than manners. Mission, I'm busy. They just brought my food. Complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. And Zalbar's gonna go. Oh, we, we don't want trouble with Wookie. Our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So, unless you want to take on my furry friend, I have furry. Little girl, lucky she has big friend. Hey, hey, Rodian. Oh, I can't talk to the Rodians. Hey, what about this guy? I saw Davik's new starship at the spaceport before the quarantine. They say it's the fastest ship on Terrace. Calls it the Evan Hunt. Oh, hey, Zalbar. Let's talk to Zalbar. 
Uh, Why are you bothering me? Relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? Alright, so it's mission. Hey, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Oh, hey. We speak the same language. Uh, it's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'll offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Uh, how do a Wookiee and a Twilight Street urchin end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. Saw that. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. So yeah, I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Callow North. See, we already asked that question. Tell me about Callow, because we haven't we've heard the other stuff from like everybody already. Callow Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around yeah, so I noticed. Office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Callow's been hired by Davit to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. See, tell me about Davit. Davit's part of the intergalactic crime syndicate. It's probably the Davit's same stuff we already know. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't oh. know much about space travel. Well, well. The ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course... This is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the exchange. See, tell me about the lower city gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Vultures and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Peck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Grezik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a hidden back. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. See, why did Grezik leave the hidden backs? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Grezik in his place. But Gadden figured Grezik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years, but Grezik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Vex from the face of Terrace. Uh -oh. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. See, uh, I think we already asked all those questions, so I'll be going now. Going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Oh. But I haven't finished eating! Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Yeah, I got 60 XP. Hey, Selbar, I want to talk to you still. <laughs> no, alright. Um, let's go see what's in this here place. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to save my game because I can. Uh, hmm. Let's see, save. Mission. Let's see, what did that say? Or the flag was destroyed by the Okay. Let's see, let's talk to these guys. Can't you see I'm auditioning? This is my shot at the big time. I can't risk screwing it up by talking to you. Oh, what's the use? There's no way Bim's gonna hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dancing with a partner. Maybe I should just give up. Why don't you have a, why don't you have a partner? My last partner left me. She was always trying to upstage me, even though it was obvious I had ten times her talent. When I told her that, she stormed off. I guess the truth hurts. My partner before that was even worse. If I wasn't tripping over his staggering feet, I was ducking under his flailing horns. I ditched him after less than a week. Maybe I could be your partner. I mean, I'm getting desperate. I hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to just pair up with a random passerby. How do I know you're any good? 
Um, let's see. Let's persuade. I'm going to have to get you figure audition. Well, you have that certain look about you. A confidence of movement. So I guess you'll have to do. But I'm warning you. Don't screw this up. It's a sure rule. I've got a partner now. I'd really like to audition for you again. Okay, Lynn. You've got one more chance. I'll give you a minute to get your partner set up and then see what you got. Okay, I've got time to watch you for three more dances. Make them count. Okay, just follow my lead. Remember, the more complicated our steps are, the, clo the steps and the closer we dance, the more it will impress Bim. But don't get too close if you can't handle it. I don't need some clumsy oaf tripping me up. Kind of screw this up for me, okay? Let's see, what are our options? Um. Let's see, let's join her by dancing beside her. Yeah, let's dance! Look at them boobies on her. Huh, simple but nice. Just remember, the Starlight Entertainers don't want simple. We're only looking for the top performers in the galaxy. Look, I know you're trying to be careful about screwing up, but you've just got to give me a little more than that. We've seen thousands of dancers. We need to do something that will impress them. The next dance is a little different, so watch me for the steps, then jump in. Okay. Oh, we have to, like, fist pump. Let's see. <laughs> Join them by running, running around in circles. Uh, no, thank you. Um, let's dance close beside her. Uh, yeah, let's dance. Fist pump. And good, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice tempo. Good looking. Then, okay, one more dance to go. Okay, one dance to go. Bib looks happy. As long as you don't screw up, I think we've got it. Follow me in, please. Just keep it simple. Bib is right there. You're like talking behind his back, but he's right there. Okay. Oh, and she's got like the Jedi mind trick move there and the fist pump. Let's see, I could ruin her audition by taking a dive and or dance beside her or dance very close and face to face. We already danced beside her and she and he's saying less or she's saying less simple. So let's go very close and face to face. Uh and we've got like the little Jedi mind trick move thing there too. Man, I'm not a very good dancer. I've got a nice ass though. Looking good, looking very good. Feel the music. Let it flow through you. The, the music is like the force in Kotor. Well, what do you think? Do I get the job? Do you want me to dance some more? I can do another one for, for you if you want. Relax, Lynn. You made it. You got the job. Welcome to Starlight Entertainers. Yay! Okay. I made it. I really made it. This is incredible. I, I don't believe it. Believe it, kid. You're in. Now we need to get you fit for your outfit, so we need to start rehearsals. You've got contracts to sign. Let's go. Busy, busy. That's the life of a star. Thank you. I couldn't have made it without you. I give you a big hug, but, well, frankly, you're a little beneath me now. Like Bib said, I'm going to be a star! But if you're ever traveling to the galaxy and you see the Starlight Entertainers performing, stop by and ask for Lynn. We'll see if I can get you some free tickets. Yeah, I got 250 XP. And. Huh, whoa, I had some like frame rate lag there. <laughs> She's like, oh, now that, you, now that I'm a star, you're like so beneath me now. And I'm like, I just helped you get your audition. We got some random bounty hunters around. Devin's up to something. He brings famous, famous bounty hunter Kylo Norian for a special assignment. Kylo, no work cheap. I'll stick with the bounties Davik puts out. They're usually less dangerous than the government funded contracts. Alright. What about this guy? I heard Kalinor is in town, like there wasn't enough co competition in this office already. Now we're the best bounty hunter in the system, scooping our contracts. I love how these guys all talk with the same voice and the same line. Hey, Zax. I've not seen you here before, human. You are new to the bounty office, yes? My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available here, legal and otherwise. But they all pay quite well. Or are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's best agents. I'm in the hut with all the answers. That frame rate. Um, let's see. Huh, I can talk to you about the Rackle Serum. Uh, I gotta be careful with, with this guy. Tell me about the bounties. There's two government contracts. One's an assassin named Selvin, the other's been next star killer. He's a famous deathmatch jeweler. Between them, they've killed hundreds of people. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. 
long as we don't end up on the list of the victims. Not all the bounties are dangerous. Davik got some special contracts. One's for a girl named Dia. She attacked Holden, one of Davik's men. Those for a man named Horga, who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know I Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And then there's Matrix. He used to work for Davik. He, but then he betrayed the exchange, and now Davik wants him dead. Put all this information in your data pad. Let's see. Um. What was I going to say? Uh, oh yeah, didn't I already pay, get Margo to pay off his debt? Um, let's see. A lot more details on the bounties you're offering. All the information is in your data pal already, but if you don't want to look there, I guess I can fill you in. What do you want to know more about? Uh, I want to know about Matrix. Davik is very interested in this bounty. Matrix used to work for Davik. He wasn't important, but he was there a long time. He saw lots of things and it was wise to keep, to keep quiet about. But then one day he betrayed Dev. He went to the terrorist authorities and testified at trials against the exchange. Lots of people were arrested and Davik's operations shut down for a while. It cost Davik thousands and thousands of credits to get business back on track. And he lost lots of good people. Of course, he's not about to let Matrix get away with that. Let's see, um. Didn't the government protect Matrix after the trials? They hit Matrix for a while, but when the Sith took over, they shut the, they shut the Witness Protection Program down. It's expensive and the Sith didn't care if Matrix died. Let's see, uh, Davik's bounties sound more like contract killings. I don't want us to say that, so I'm worried it'll get me in trouble. I want to ask you about the other bounties. Uh, about Selvin. Selvin's a government bounty. She's a very dangerous woman. When she started, she was just another killer for Davik. Then she began freelancing with the highest bidder. One day she killed six citizens in the street. And their bodyguards, too. They were all Ogos, a powerful merchant family with many enemies. Self was hired to kill off the whole family. She was very good at her job. Each day, more Ogos died. Poisoned at home. Shot down the street. Guards and droids couldn't protect them. After a month, there were no Ogos left on Terrace. Not one. Did they ever find out who hired Selvin to kill them all? It was never proven. After the Ogos were all dead, the Organa family demanded the government be put out a contract on Selvin. They said nobody was safe as long as Selvin was still free. Well, the Organa family were powerful rivals of the Olgos. Some think they were the ones who hired Selvin, and then they tried to have bounty hunters kill her to keep the secret from getting out. But terrorist politics aren't your concern. You're just a bounty hunter. You tell Selvin, you get the credits. It's the only important thing, right? See, isn't the Organas like Bail and Leia from the actual movies? Oh, about the other bounties. The information is in your day, pal, already. Uh, talking about Bendak. Then next a government contract, but he's a legend on Terrace. He started as a duelist in the Upper Cantina. He never lost, but he only fought death matches. He killed hundreds in his day. Then those matches got banned, dueling rank switched to non-lethal combat. Ben Deck wasn't ready to retire. He kept dueling on the illegal underground circuit. He kept killing people. Finally, the government had no choice but to put a bounty out on him. But Ben Deck's a big folk hero, so not too many tried to collect. Those who do all wind up dead, anyway. Gosh. Maybe I need to turn. I don't know. My frame rate doesn't seem dependent on my graphics level. It seems to be dependent on something else. Anyway, what about the other bounties? Uh, what about Dia? Dia is one of Davik's private bounties. She used to be a waitress at the ca in the canteen here until she had a fight with Holden. She cut him with her vibra blade and almost killed him. That was a mistake. Holden works for Davik. So, works for Davik. He's not one to let her get away with that. When he was recovering in the medical bay, he put out a bounty on Dia. She's been hiding ever since. Uh, I get the feeling there's more to this story. Maybe. It doesn't really matter to me. I get the bounty from Davik's man, I don't ask questions. You can knock Holden if you want to know more. He's inside the cantina. Oh, okay. Um, tell me about Largo. Actually, now that I think of it, that bounty is no longer on the table. Davik told me Largo's bounty is off the table. <coughs> I guess the merging came up with the credits, don't bother with that one anymore, human. Oh, god, yeah, I'm definitely sick. Um, let's see. I've got a bounty I want to collect on. Bounty? Well, human, that's what, I, what I'm here for. Which bounty you, you, are you here to collect on? Why? Tell him Matrix is dead. Let's do that. I believe you, human. I've heard reports of rather large explosions, and some of, the pe some of my people saw you behind the perfect detonator. It's good Matrix dead, but, but maybe you went overboard, human. Next time use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy, but at least the job is done. Here, 300 credits. It's a price for all bounties. Okay. I want 400 credits for this job. Success! You're brave, human, to bargain with the hut. But I like you. Okay, 400 it is. 
You do good work, human. There's lots, there's lots of bounty hunters here on Terrace, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep crashing in, in cash in bounties, they'll work harder. Wow, I didn't. I figured that would fail every time I've played this game before. That has always failed because I don't have enough persuade. Um, let's see, want some more details on the bounties? Um, any more? I need some information. I have information, but it's not free. For a field, I'll tell you everything you want about the street gang staff and all this stuff, too. But first, you have to come up with 100 credits. Uh, yeah, no. I'm not going to pay. Just ask you some questions. Let me know what your business staff is. Your credits not to answer questions. If you don't pay, then I don't talk. Maybe you could take some values and earn some money, then you could then you could afford to pay for my information. If you're happy, I'm happy, da happy Davik gets this cut, and it works out for everyone. You work for Davik? Not officially. No, I work for the bounty office. Davik pays me to keep my eyes open and report to him. And for me to post his bounties. Davik posts bounties in a, is in a, in a government office? Office? Is that even legal? I used to have, I used to have to keep our relationship secret, but since the Sith arrived, nobody cares what happens in the lower city. Davik can do whatever he wants. Well, enough talk. Get back to business. This is a bounty office, and so we should talk bounties. Are you here looking for information? I need some information. And yeah, I'll just, I'm not going to pay to ask you some questions. Uh, I'll be going now. Well, you can come back to other credits. Let's pick up money. Remember, you can come see me if you want information. Right, I got 55 XP, 400 credits, and a journal entry was added. I'm not going to read the journal entry though. Let's see, all right, I'm going to continue. Um, let's see, how long is this? 30 minutes. Okay. Um, so I'll just finish up this cantina and see, uh, uh there's a Jagatha, Jagatcha. What do you want, human? You come to stare like I was here on Terrace? You think we are strange? Um, but yeah, I'll finish up the cantina and I'll end it. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Okay, you're not here to offend me. What do you want then? I want to ask some questions. Questions? What kind of questions? What planet are you from? You couldn't say it, and don't have the ears for it. Two voices create the name, and four ears hear the true sound. But your kind would call our home Sorges, a small, small world far off the Perlamian trade, per trade route. What kind of creature are you? In your one voice tongue, you would call our kind Pyrodolag. Um, you tell me about your home world. Talking about our home world only makes quarantine more difficult to bear. Forgive us, human, but we do not wish to be reminded of it. See, I notice your head, your other head doesn't say much. I think that you would hear at least. Um, what do you know about Terrace? Nothing. We're only stopping here to get supplies and the Sith attacked. The most quarantine on all ships that landed on Terrace. Maybe we're stuck here in a world that hates non-humans. Not a good place to be. Um, let's see, I'll be going now. Good, yeah, leave us alone. We just want the quarantine to end so we can go back home. All right. Um. God, I can't, like, yeah, okay. I should stop, like, using my leg as a freaking mouse pad. Okay, oh, here's Holden. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Ooh la la. Really, Alien girls aren't really my thing. I'm much more interested in an attractive female of my own species. Ooh, I think he's coming on to me. Um, you're the guy who put the bounty on Day's head, right? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That must try to cut me with a vibro blade. That frame rate. Why would she do that? Uh... Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances. And oh, the thing I, I know can't see that at all. Me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. And I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. See, it sounds like maybe you got what you deserved. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. See, I want the bounty on your head removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good looking gal. Oh, it's Dia and I'm I'm to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. 
Um, let's see. Let's try and persuade him. If you hire someone to kill Dale, it will look like you weren't man enough to. Uh, I don't want to do that. Um, here's 200 credits. So get that money removed. Don't worry. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zach right now that the bounty is off the table. Wow. Man, I don't really have that many credits. God. Okay. Let's see. So I can be Sith musician. Musician is too busy to pay attention, pay attention to you. But probably while I'm working, I get paid to dance, not talk. Okay. I think I've explored the entire cantina now. So, I don't see. How many credits do I have now? Oh, God, the frame rate. That gives us something else I can do for you. Or getting some cards. Uh, show me what you have for sale. I've been able to reset my inventory since it's important, but I've still got a pretty good selection. Okay, I have 286 credits. Oh, because I got 400 from him. Um. See, I, I already bought the, uh, no, I didn't. Let's see, I'll take the plus one and plus three, I guess. Um. Oh, huh, now I don't have enough for the plus one, but I'm not sure why you want it. Um. Let's see, there's a minus four and a minus six. I guess I'll stick to that for now. And I think I'll save my game, and then starting next episode, I'll try to play Gilbert again, see if I can beat him. Alright, I make a dash and I'm out.